Hi everyone, Jason here. Welcome to episode three of Foy's weekly discussion of all things yoga and specifically yoga teacher training. Joining me today is the one and only Emma Saunders. Emma, thanks for joining me. Hi Jason, thank you for having me. Um, yeah, so I'm Emma Saunders. I am old school the House of Yoga. Um, if you have been practicing with the House of Yoga for a while, then hopefully um, you'll know me. I started my yoga journey at the House of Yoga back in 2012, just after they opened. Um, I did the very first teacher training program at the House of Yoga. And pretty much after I started uh, teaching straight away, and I started working at the House of Yoga and I ran the House of Yoga for a number of years with a wonderful team with Jason. Um, yes, yeah, so I was heavily involved and loved my journey there. And I am very grateful to still be involved with a lot of the teach training programs that happen at the House of Yoga. Yeah, well, fun, fun, fun times. We always say that. And um, yeah, yeah, you definitely still heavily involved, you know, you're senior facilitator for teacher trainings and that's why you know, you're going to add so, so much value to this conversation today um all right why don't we jump straight in for the theme today which is am i ready which is definitely a, a question that many trainees are asking themselves it's a dialogue a question that they hear in their own heads and we you know we end up having lots of conversations around this so let's jump in to am i ready to do a yoga teacher training or am I ready to do anything like is, yeah, there, right? is, is the time you know is it are you ever ready to do anything yeah I think whenever we perceive something to be big then we start to question ourselves right all these doubts start to come up and whether it feels like a big milestone um physically or spiritually or financially even we have things or doubts that start to come up and am I ready is a big thing that comes up for people when they're thinking about a yoga teacher training program and in fact it can stop us thinking about it at all because we can think I'm not ready to do that so I won't even won't even consider it as available to me because I'm deciding that I'm not ready yeah and we, we you know we've touched on this the last couple of discussions with Jeff and Marlon and you know, it ends up being, like you said, it, it ends up being a, a limiting for a limiting belief that, you know, can actually stop so many people doing what they really want to do. And I think that, you know, my answer to the question is, I mean, I've, I have so, I've had hundreds of these conversations with, with potential trainees looking to jump in the training over the years. And it is a big one. I would say it's one of the biggest resisting resistance to, to jumping in. And you're right. It's, Whenever we feel like we're going to be stretched and take ourselves out of our comfort zone, that's the typical question that comes up, right? So the answer is, well, if you're passionate about the practice or you're passionate about exploring and diving deeper into it, you're ready. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Like so many times we've discussed, like, do we need to call it a yoga teacher training program? Because it's so much more than learning to teach yoga it's that's like that's almost like the byproduct of, of what you really gain from the program which is a deeper understanding of yourself deeper understanding of the practice of yoga a huge community of friends like yeah if I wish I kind of wish that we could name the program something else because maybe if we weren't thinking about that end goal of being a yoga teacher or just having that qualification then maybe we wouldn't measure ourselves as needing to be ready and and I think that's the other thing is when we put these markers on ourselves as like okay I need to be able to do this and this and this to to be able to start or to be able to gain or reach this goal then it's more challenging then again we have those those blocks that stop us from mm. doing something that's so true yeah, so perhaps we should change the name, or, or as we always say, right? It's yeah, it's the yoga teacher training. It's a two hundred hour certification. Ignite your passion is you know the name of the training, which it absolutely does. Um, that 
And yeah, if it was just, you know, it's a journey of self-discovery and, and yes, it's about deepening your yoga practice and, and becoming a great yoga teacher who we've spoken about the last couple of sessions, mm-hmm. but you're right. Perhaps it's just, we label from maybe just the name, like, you know, when people say, I've got to be a yoga teacher to do a yoga teach training, mm-hmm. Mm-mm. it's, you know, you're ready. If you're thinking about it and it's already there in your mind, consider that you are ready and it's calling you for calling, calling you forward to, to jump in and, and explore it. Because um, we've seen it so many times, right? We've seen from day one of the yoga teach training where there's so many nerves and, and excitement at the same time. And that that question is definitely showing up. If even if it's on, you know, be it online or in person, that question is definitely showing up for many people mm-hmm. just that from that day one. Am I ready? Um, but we soon see, right, and um, that the first morning or the first afternoon, they're like, ah, I'm in the right place. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, and like you said, like they're coming in. A lot of the time, students come in and they're like. Or like even on the application, um, I'm applying for this teacher training, but I can't yet do a crow pose or yeah. I can't yet hold a handstand or I don't know enough about the philosophy yet. And to all of those, I'm like, well, we're going to explore that on this program. And actually the only prerequisite that we have for you is that you come with an open mind mm. and you come willing to learn. Like that's really what, that's really what we want we want students that are passionate that want to know more yeah totally I totally agree so yeah you're, if you're showing up in that in that willingness and with like a blank canvas right that's so just actually uh, this is it like you know life is happening now am, am I ever going to be ready if I keep you know if I keep sort of backing down and whatever I'm not talking about yoga teach training I'm talking about anything in life as mm-hmm. you were saying anything that challenges us and is going to pull us out of our comfort zone you know, we, we do hear those voices in our heads and we doubt ourselves, you know, that whole I'm not good enough that we've talked about recently. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think it's a big breakthrough. From So the, the question, am I ready to, all right, let's just do it. Let's, let's explore, let's jump in. That's where the, you know, the journey and transformation begins. Yeah, it's really interesting that you speak about comfort zones because, Obviously, as we know, particularly from our studies and from our teacher training, when we're in that comfort zone, we can't grow. And those voices of self-doubt, that is our ego trying to keep us in that comfort zone, trying to keep us in the, the space where we feel safe, right? If I don't do anything, I'm staying where I am and where I am is what I already know and what I know is safe. But if I allow myself to break through those ideas, those limits that are holding me back, then I don't know what's going to happen. Anything well, is possible. Like, you know, for, like, you know for, for me as well, like any time that we've, we, we started in this place, right? So back in I don't know, 2010, 2009, my first teach training, was I hearing that question in my own head? Am I ready? Of course. Have I heard it since? Of course. Um, so it's sort of never going to go away, but you're right that there's no growth if we don't explore and step in. And how, how long are we going to have to wait to be ready? <laughs> like, okay, I've, I've got my crow pose. Now I need to work on my handstand. Okay. I've got my handstand. Now I need to hold it for five minutes. Okay. I've done that. Now I need to learn all of the names of all of the great gurus of yoga and know how to read Sanskrit okay I've done all that there's always going to be more there's always going to be something else to do something else to learn and if we're always waiting we're never actually going to to do the thing right I absolutely agree that's so true and yeah like that like we see it we see it all the way through we see it with so many students that 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 limiting belief or yeah that belief that does stop stop them or stop us um becomes so the question then becomes so from am i ready to all right like who can i teach i want to teach who can i teach right Mm -hmm. yeah it's a different it ends up being a different question 
Um, that, that question of am I ready, there's definitely doubt that's linked to that question. But yeah, the, through the journey is, well, how, <laughs> who is there out there I want to teach? <laughs> I want to I teach this practice to people because it's had such an impact on my life. And so if there's anyone like listening right now um, and, you know, you're curious about deepening your yoga journey, yoga's had an impact on your life, be it physical, mental, emotional, um, spiritual, and you, you just feel like this is it. I'm, I'm, now is the time I want to jump in, but you've got the question going on, am I ready? What would you say um, to, to these people? <laughs> <laughs> So for one, I would say if you are curious and wanting to learn more then you are ready, but I would say instead of asking yourself, am I ready? Maybe ask yourself, what is there to gain from this? And that's, that's a different question, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So change the question. What is there to gain from, from whatever it is that you're thinking about doing? Teach training, maybe, maybe something else. And what would you lose by not stepping into it, by not doing that thing? What would you miss out on or what would you lose out on? What is there to gain? Well, let's explore that. So let's explore. So just from experience from our own from our own journey and, you know, seeing so many trainees come through, ignite your passion. I guess the answer to that is what is there to gain? Well, firstly, as we've just been talking about, definitely a deepening of yoga journey, a, a deeper understanding, right, of not just the practice or the practices, but self, <clears throat> a much deeper mm -hmm. understanding of self and, you know, who am I, like, where am I going, what, what, what really matters to me in life, that, there's definitely, that, they're the payoffs for sure, and one thing that really stands out, <clears throat> what is there to gain, is an amazing tribe of people, connection, love, that you the journey you go on with like-minded people is pretty special huh? yeah massively <clears throat> yeah the joy the joy of spending quality time immersing in something that you love that is not to be underestimated and spending it with people that like Jay said are like-minded people that you have conversations with that you maybe wouldn't have with other people it's um hugely valuable and you finish your training days yeah feeling alive feeling ignited mm. as yeah as um our training it's namesake really um do you, do you know yeah, what else is like that question that it comes up and it changes not it doesn't just change throughout the journey of yoga teacher training as in <clears throat> asking a different question but think about you know our training has, has been designed around getting better at life deepening mm. your yoga practice becoming a yoga teacher if that's what you want to do but that question if that question changes in the training it's going to change elsewhere in life and that's going to have a huge impact somewhere else right so let's say it could be am i ready to jump into this relationship am i ready to to, to, to shift careers like that that question is transformed not only through the yoga journey but also just out there in life. And I think that's a brilliant, you know, such a beautiful thing. Yeah, hundred percent. And I was also thinking like, as well as what is there for, for me to gain, but what is there for the people around you to gain as well? Mm. Like definitely through going back to teach training, but through going through teach training, my family have definitely benefited from the learnings that I've taken from it in terms of learning about myself and learning how to communicate and and also obviously my students if I had not decided that yeah I was going to go for it I wouldn't have passed on what I've learned so far to my students and and even so now I know you said like we don't stop asking ourselves like question like am I ready and actually I remember one thing um, at the end of my first yoga teach training program, and I've shared this with several of my teach training groups since, but I remember towards the end of the program, feeling overwhelmed with a huge amount of information that we've been given. And I said to my teacher, I was like, I just, I don't know how I'm ever going to know all of this, that like, you know so much. How am I, how am I ever going to be ready? Mm -hmm. And um mm -hmm. She said something to me along the lines of, 
if you're able to share one drop of joy that you've received from the practice of yoga, then consider that that's enough. That's enough, right? That's enough, you're enough. And yeah, then it becomes bigger than bigger than ourselves, right? It's actually the, con- the power of contribution. And, and that's yeah. us with one person, one insight, one breakthrough, and that just be- becomes that ripple effect that you end up helping so many other people. So the question, so changing the question, am I ready to to a, a, a more empowering question that m- removes doubt and brings about more enthusiasm and gets you in the journey, that impact or changing that question can benefit so many more people just by changing that question. <laughs> yeah. That's incredible, huh? Mm-hmm. And we yeah. even go to work. We even go to work. There's a specific piece of the content in the training where we go to work on you know, the big questions that we ask ourselves. And am I ready is certainly a big question that can show up for a lot of us. Yeah, absolutely. I think for me, this is, this is the, um, the meat of, of the training, right? The, the real deep look at how we react and interact to the world around us, how we speak to ourselves and how we are generating our own reality and our, our own, our life basically. And, um, that's how that's, like, how can you empower yourself through the questions that you're asking yourself? It's, it's absolutely the biggest, it's this, you know, I say it's the biggest part of the training, but it's such a, it's a big, it is a big part of the training, right? The whole personal growth and personal development. Of course, yoga, mm-hmm. you know, yoga is a, is the practice of, like I was saying, self-discovery and self-improvement. But yoga itself, just the practice, is not enough we've got to actually dive deeper into specific you know specific content and work that yeah really expands that transformation through throughout the journey and you know i just think of earlier around we were talking about the theme am i ready and um just think about even in your own yoga yoga journey and or teaching like how far you've come in your own teaching and how many people you've impacted would you say that you still have that little question or a question like that that shows up for you? Yeah, absolutely. Every time I'm delivering content that's slightly new to me <laughs> or every time I meet a new group, I'm like, yeah, do am I ready? Do I have <laughs> enough behind me like to say that I am able to teach you guys? And I just have to keep coming back to that place of being of service. Like I have learned a lot and I do have a lot to share. And if I keep it to myself, actually, that's not, that's not, yeah, being of service. It's not contributing. It's not being generous with the good fortune of what I have been able to, to receive and learn. Yeah. So powerful her and for sure. And look, we all get, we all get that limiting conversation happening and I think just the first thing is just to become aware of it just because just to notice wow actually this is sort of you know these types of questions stop me doing or heading down the journey I want to go down and yeah I know that I'm going to have many many more conversations like this with you know potential trainees that are, <laughs> that are ready sort of to come into the training but they are but they're asking the question and yeah so it's really powerful just to, to, you know, to hear you say that after how many years of teaching? I mean, you, you know, nine yeah. years of teaching. Yeah. So just that. Yeah, and I think, I think as well, like remembering, I think often we put on this face of like, we've got it all together, right? I think particularly with um, the social media as it is right now, a lot of the time we're like, this is how my life looks all shiny and, and perfectly put it together. But the reality is no one's life is like that. And if exactly. we can share our vulnerabilities more, we realize that we're all so alike. And in fact, like we do that a lot on our, on our trainings, right? Everyone mm. is very generous with sharing themselves um, and being vulnerable. And like on weekend one, on weekend two, we'll often say to the group, how are you feeling? And 
more often than not, they'll share that they're feeling nervous because it's something new, right? And I can bet you like 95, if not more, if not 100% of the room will come in asking themselves, am I ready? For sure. Yeah, it's a big one. And I'm so happy we've discussed it because, you know, you you um, trainees that are looking to jump into a, a, a teacher training or a, a 200 hour teacher training, which it's so powerful and so trans- transformational, um, but also the foundational, the start, right, of the yoga teacher training journey and developing your yoga practice. That people that will be listening to this, firstly, thank you. But, you know, if you, if you have this question or a similar question showing up, then just know that, <laughs> We're, we all have it, even after years of teaching. And I think actually, you know, just having the question gives us a, a, a different, can actually take us on a different path. If we just become aware of the question, then we know that we can change it. So, you know, asking powerful questions, we get powerful answers. So I think, you know, for me, I've definitely heard it recently. Um, you know, am I ready off the mat, like in different areas of my life? and I always come back to what you said, Em, is, well, how can I serve more? Like, how can I be more valuable? How can I help more people? And that takes it away from me as just me as an individual to, well, you know, like, if I don't do it, then I'm not going to help other people. So I think that's just, just such a powerful insight. So anyone listening, if you've got the question, am I ready? Change that question. You are ready. And think about, you know, the, the the payoff as Emma was saying the gains that you can get from stepping into a journey like this be it with the house yoga or anyone you know it's it's such an incredible journey Em, just as we finish off here what would you say to to anyone um that you know they're they're curious they're exploring yoga teacher training what would you say to that person (laughs) firstly I'd say do it (laughs) <laughs> you're ready do it you are ready go and do it um no but seriously yoga teacher training find the one that that fits with you it's kind of like um walking into your home like when you find your home you'll know and it's that kind of place with the yoga studio as well when you when you find your home your yoga home you will know and um teach training is still to this day two kids and marriage later still one of the greatest things I've ever done and um yeah I can't recommend it enough so I highly recommend doing it if you're thinking about it then then that means that you're ready that's Mm. all there is yeah the thoughts there then that's 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 a great analogy I love that it's a thought there if it's in if it's in your mind right now then just consider you are absolutely ready um so emma you're you're leading so you're you know senior facilitator now of ignite your passion online and online training begins in march 22 so march mm-hmm. 2022 running you know for four months do you want to just share a little insight before we finish here around what you're seeing you know with with the trainees coming out i mean i've obviously been involved as well but not not so much recently but you're you're heavily involved in the online training it works right it's a, it's a magical yeah journey. yeah so we are uh how far we're just over halfway with the current online group right now um yeah i i was i was sharing with um the other facilitators last week about how they have suddenly suddenly flourished in the last couple of weeks on oh, the um the training is like weekly like you'll have a couple of sessions each week it kind of alternates to fit in with your life so you might do like a Tuesday and a Thursday evening or you might do um a Saturday day um but yeah all of a sudden they are just coming on leaps and bounds and I practiced with them they were teaching me I was coaching them and um yeah at one point I was like I had to like pull myself out and actually remember that at the end of this session I'm going to need to give you feedback because I was so into my practice you were teaching so well that I almost forgot for a moment that I was I was coaching you guys so um 
just, yeah, they they are. Music. They're exceptional. It's really, really exciting and a joy for me to be able to witness that that so journey powerful. for them. So powerful, right? And did they have the question, am I ready? Or a question similar to that at the beginning? Of course they would have done, like everyone does. And they're, you know, look like you're sharing where they are now, halfway through, just beyond halfway through in the training and, you know, teaching powerfully already with lots of confidence and, you know, a new skill set, which is great. Um, so, yeah, our, our next in-person training begins January 2022. That will run to July. Um, you can jump on a call. We have discovery calls. So if you're interested and you're curious about teach training, you know, you can jump on a 20-minute discovery call with myself or one of the team members. And that is a great call to ask, you know, to answer any questions that you have um, about yoga teach training. But, yeah, my very similar answer, M is, you know, if you're, if you're thinking about it and you're, you're curious, then now is the time. Now is the time to jump in. So, Emma, thank you so much for your time. Thank really you. appreciate it. Thanks, Jace. And everyone else, thank you. And we'll be, in, we'll be back soon. Thanks, Em. Take care. Bye.